Well, when you ask me about what do I think is art or how do I see my flies as art, uh, it's a hard thing for me to, to really do. I just make flies, I enjoy tying flies, and I just tie flies to imitate something that I'm going to go fishing for. The way Bob sees and deals with everything is he's, he's a true naturalist. Like, he immerses himself in whatever he's doing. I would say that he puts himself into the environment that exists at that time. He knows that the, the fish are going to be teeming on certain baits and he's able to duplicate that. So he actually puts himself right into the environment that's going on at that time, more than anybody that I've ever seen before. He'll look at the clarity of the water, he'll look at the bait fish, the, the translucency of the fish, the belly sack, how the fish looks underwater, how the fish looks out of water. It's, it's amazing that he can see everything. If all of a sudden you're looking at the water and then all of a sudden out of the corner of your eye you say you see a flash. That could be a bait fish all of a sudden turn on its side and the sun just made it glisten. That could show you where to locate the bait, where you may want to fish. Everything matters. Don't forget when we were when we would drive along the beach there. That's the environment in which I fish. And I'll see, I'll look for different cues, I'll look for different colors in the water tells me, oh, the water all of a sudden got deeper. Or maybe there's a school of bait that's swimming through this area. Or I could see foam on the water getting moved this direction over here, and yet it's going that way a little bit further out. Shows me currents are going on, different things like that. He's an incredibly smart, dynamic, forward-thinking inventor who can see things that have never been made before. Fly tying with Bob is always an adventure because he never makes two flies the same. To us, they look the same, but he's always making a minor variation to improve it. Every single one he ties, even in the same series, and he compares them over and over. He, he can get lost at the vise for hours. Did a lot of observations of bait fish, and they did the colorations. He would check in shallow water. He segmented some of his flies so they would swim, and. Uh, he spent a lot of time on each fly. It wasn't anything here, I tie this, this is gonna work. A lot of times we spent two or three years improving upon original design. Bob's fly designs truly replicate moving fish. I remember the first time I saw one of his flies swim in the water and the way that this fly, which was beautiful out of the water, as soon as it got in the water and he, he pulled, it just started wiggling and it looked like a real fish, like better than any you know, handcrafted lure I'd ever seen in my life. So his ability to replicate bait fish and fool predator fish into biting them is just incredible. It's, it's creating, or actually not creating a form so much as it is mimicking a form. It's the way you make it out to be, it's how you make it. It's how you put it together. It's a recipe. It's, it's putting things together to make a complete uh, image of what you have in mind. I believe what Bob does is an art form simply because he's working from basic materials and creating beautiful objects. The fact that his art is also functional, to me, that's good art. Create these little functional works of art that have changed fly fishing. Uh, but on top of that, he's somebody that's very free with his advice. He doesn't compete with anybody. Like, some people are afraid to give away all of their secrets and Bob not only gives them away, but he writes books about them. Whatever the subject that he was tying, whatever the bait fish that he was tying, he duplicated it like nobody else had ever done. They were perfect. And he did things that were unlike any other tire who had ever done. In that respect, he, he stands alone. You know, and a lot of trial and error, a lot of mistakes being made, and all of a sudden, things start to come together. And what it does, it makes me chuckle. I get a chuckle. I mean, I actually go, <laughs> like a son of a gun. Look at that. But that's the reaction it gets. It evokes a reaction out of me. It makes me say, wow, look at that. And then I realize that that reaction that I have to the successful completion of that new design is akin to when I see pieces of art that I like.